when you receive your Synology Disk Station server, it should be shipped from the Tennessee District Attorney's General Conference Information Systems Department. And the ones that we're currently shipping are DS415 pluses. Should arrive in a box exactly like this. All you have to do is just basically on the back side, unpack this, pull this tab, unpack the product. And what you will have once you pull everything out, you have the Synology Disk Station server. Should have two network cables, a power cord, and also your power adapter. Once you have everything unpacked, all that you basically need to do is take your power cable and you're going to plug it directly into this port on the power adapter. Once that goes in, let's go ahead and get that fastened. This plug here, let's show you the back side of the Synology server. It's going to go directly into your power connector here. But what you have on the back side of the Synology server, you have these two network ports. This is LAN 1 and LAN 2. You're going to want to fasten the network cable into LAN 1. You also have two USB ports located right here. And then you also got another eSATA port. But for this video, all you're going to want to do is when you have the power, power cord of this plugged into your battery backup or your electrical outlet surge protection, you're going to want to take power cable, plug it directly into the back side of the Synology server. Once so that's fixed, you're going to want to take your network cable, plug it into the network port LAN 1. It's fixated right there, fastened in good. And the other side goes into your switch. And you'll find it looks similar to this. What you have to do, line it, plug it in. And then on the front side of the Synology server, you are going to find the power button. You'll find it directly at the bottom right hand corner, just below this USB port. All you have to do once you have it plugged into the electrical outlet, press the power button, you will see your status lights come on.